you know, sitting in this car is so frustrating trying to vlog. <laughs> because if I put my camera here, which I usually set it, is that too dark? Like, I feel like it's far too dark and if I come close, I'm getting absolutely blinded by the sun. So if I just kind of like set you up here for a minute or two, is that okay? It's just, it's, it's gonna have to do. <laughs> so if you did see one of my previous videos, I think it was actually my previous makeup tutorial, I did say that I was actually gonna be doing a house update for you. So this video is just gonna be kind of like a vlog style type video. I'm obviously in my car at my house at the minute. Well, my mom's house. <laughs> and I'm actually just gonna go down to my house now. And I'm just gonna give you like a wee bit of like a house tour of what we've done so far in terms of like decorating and showing you what we've done, what we haven't done, whatever. As you may or may not know, if you've been keeping up with my videos, that me and Kyla got our keys about a month and a half ago. I wanna even say coming up two months, I'm not even joking, and we still haven't moved in yet. And I, I know it's it's crazy, but there has been a few reasons as to why we haven't been able to move in, but I actually think we're moving in tomorrow, either tomorrow or Saturday. Because uh, we got our keys, let's just say a couple of months ago, and we haven't moved in yet, it's kind of given us this time to actually like decorate the house and do wee bits and bobs to it instead of us moving in with all our stuff and have to like decorate around all of our stuff. So it just means that we're gonna be moving in either tomorrow or Saturday and every room's nearly done. I say nearly, but not really, but kind of, but not really, but yeah, but no, you know. <laughs> I'm actually so excited to show you, you know, I'm so chuffed with it, I'm so happy with it. We have been doing absolutely everything ourselves. I am, I am a DIY goddess. <laughs> I am a domestic goddess right now. <laughs> but yeah, we've been doing absolutely everything ourselves and I think that's why we're more proud of ourselves and we're more appreciative 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 of it or something I don't know um but yeah that's what I'm gonna be doing today I'm gonna to be showing you around the house every room showing you what we've done what we haven't done show you our decor what I'm thinking the vibes we're going for there's a few things that I'm actually wanting to show you is that I'm kind of wanting your opinions your ideas on what to do with certain things I'm gonna show you my makeup room slash filming room because it's completely finished by the way it's literally sitting like a pin it's literally just sitting ready for me to get started filming next week. Yesterday, I had actually went to Home Bargains. Was it B&M? No, it was Home Bargains, sorry. So I went to Home Bargains yesterday and I got a few wee bits and bobs. I think I might actually do like a wee Home Bargains haul with you as well. Just kind of show you like the wee bits and pieces that I got. I think I need to stop at the shop actually and get a few wee bits and bobs as well. But I got these new sunglasses. And I kind of feel like a twat with them on, but I think they're really cool. <laughs> like, I love them. Like, do you ever buy something that you love? Like, you absolutely love, you think it's so sick, so cool, love it. But you just know that if you wear it, you're going to feel like a dish. Just like, mega prick. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I just kind of look like something from the Terminator. I don't know, but... Love it, absolutely love it. But anyway guys, that's me now. I'm gonna head on up to the house and I'll see you then. Do you know, I'm only after restocking my fridge full of juice and stuff and I'm raging because I should have done this with you. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but this just makes me really happy. <laughs> I am absolutely obsessed with like fizzy juice, fizzy drinks, just whatever. So this is literally all we have in our fridge right now is literally fizzy juice and fizzy drinks because obviously like we haven't moved in yet there's no point in buying groceries food or anything like that so of course i need to have my array of fizzy juice i absolutely love it and my m s tropical juice with kale it's actually really nice you know of course we are in my kitchen i'm just gonna start here and kind of like work my way around the house i have to say this is probably like my least favorite room in the house because i just i can't stand it i actually cannot stand this kitchen i think it is so ugly this is just 
something that we're just gonna have to live with over the next couple of years until we get our new kitchen put in. Over here in the corner, I have this table. Please excuse the drawer, it is kind of broken. I must actually get Kyle to fix it for me, but I actually bought this wee table off Facebook Marketplace for, I'm not even joking guys, 15 pounds. <laughs> like seriously, 15 pound I got this wee table for, and do you know what? It's, it's disgusting, it's really, really dirty. Um, but I think like all it needs is some TLC and I have a lot of plans for this. So this table here is going to be going out in our hall as just like a wee hall table, console table, whatever. So I'm obviously going to sand it down, paint it and I've actually bought some more doorknobs. Well I haven't actually bought doorknobs but door handles so I'm obviously going to have to drill different like holes on them to actually fit the handles and yeah so I'm actually not too sure when I'm going to be doing like the whole DIY with this wee table um but I'll hopefully show you it like a wee before and after whenever it is done and I think it'll just be really handy because like honestly it was cheap as chips okay <laughs> that drawer is Fucked. <laughs> this is actually something that I've been wanting to ask you about is the thing that is behind me. I really, really need you to let me know what you would do or if you have any ideas, let me know. But this is it here. At the minute, we currently have plates in here, cooking stuff all in here, our toaster, etc. In here is where we have our drying cloths, tea towels, etc. This is a utensils drawer and this is our cutlery drawer. These two wee drawers down here at the bottom are for like crap pretty much and then at the top in these wee sections here we just have again rubbish because we don't really have anywhere to put some things just yet and glasses, bottle of champagne. <laughs> oh, Kyle's to-do list <laughs> that I left him last night. But it's this situation here, guys. Obviously, as you can see from like the wee indents and stuff, I'm guessing this is obviously where you can put like alcohol bottles, wine bottles, champagne bottles, etc. Make how I don't drink. So that's just wasted space to be honest. And then here, I'm guessing like here is for like books or plates or something. I think my mum did say plates. This is obviously like an open space here, but I just have some packages in it at the minute. But what will I do here? I was kind of even thinking, you see the way it's even like a different colour to the rest? I was even thinking of just taking it out completely or doing like shelves or something or will I leave it like this and what could I do? What could I do with this space, honestly? But like with everything else, I'm kind of happy enough with it. <gasps> oh my God, look at my cup. Look at my cup. I absolutely love it. I got this from TK Maxx. Absolutely love it. So please let me know what, what I can actually do with that situation because I haven't a clue. So I'm first off going to take you into our downstairs bathroom which is just in here. Funny story. Well it's not actually funny at all. Actually. It's no. But whenever I first got this house and got the keys and everything I was like I hate that bathroom. Why have we got three bathrooms in this house? Three bathrooms in this house is just highly unnecessary. There's no need. <laughs> Give me another room to put my hoover, my ironing board, my iron, my, like my clothes basket. Give me another room for storage. I do not need another shitter. Seriously. See now, I love it. I have took so much pride in this wee downstairs toilet, it is unreal. Don't get me wrong, whenever I show you it, it's still not completely finished. See if I walk backwards, will that be okay? Because see, once I turn this way, the lighting is absolutely awful. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not 100% finished yet in terms of like the decor and stuff. I still want to add a few wee bits and pieces. The floor still needs done. The tiles around the sink still need done. But what we've done with it so far, I'm really, really happy with it. This is it here. Do you know what? It's nothing special. I didn't want to go too crazy with like the downstairs bathroom or anything, but... You know what, it'll it'll do. It's fine. Oh god. I think I'll put this seat down. So I got this towel rail from Amazon. See for a towel rail, it was actually really expensive. It was like 30 something pounds and then with the delivery on top of that, I'm not even joking, I think it was like nearly 37 pounds. And then this wee mare here is from hi John Lewis. And then this is just from BM. This here we plant is from Homebase. And the wee thing here, toilet roll holder. 
yes that's also from John Lewis but this wall here I love it because I just kind of feel like it really makes the bathroom just a wee bit more cozy but I still need to do something with this area here because I just kind of feel like it's just very dull it's very boring that's why I have this really like plump thing sitting here that's actually from my makeup room but it was just to kind of give a wee bit of spice to this corner so I'm actually thinking of getting like um like a really nice rustic antique shelf along here putting a couple of pictures up maybe some hanging flowers or something a couple of wee things on the floor and maybe like a wee floor thing here I don't know I'm still not 100% finished with the decor in here but just what we've kind of done so far and what it looked like originally I'm really really happy with it now I'm going to show you our living room so this is obviously our hall I really really hope you can actually remember back to the very first time I took you around the house see if I can remember I'm actually going to insert like wee videos or wee pictures along the way with every room that I go into it's like before and afters so you can actually see like the progress of what we've done so far as you can see with all our stairs here we've actually completely just lifted the carpet we've actually bought carpet um but the person still hasn't came yet to measure how much we need and then we obviously got our internet in yesterday so that's obviously the reason why we're able to actually move in now so if you did see my previous makeup tutorial i had said that we weren't able to move in until we had the internet and i know that sounds like really really bad and like today's generation but i kind of feel like i kind of need to explain myself and the fact that the internet is my job. It's my job. I've just bought a house. <laughs> uh, the internet is my full-time job. It's my income. I need to work to make a living to earn money to pay for the house that I've just bought. You know, it's like a full circle type of thing. But also, like, living out here is... It's literally out in the sticks. We have no signal, we get no data, we get nothing. So whenever I'm out here, I'm able to speak to nobody. Like nobody can get hold of me. Or unless I stand in a certain area out our back and in our driveway, I'm able to get some signal, but we get no signal, no data, no nothing. Because I was saying to my mum on Kyle that even if we were living out here, or even if out here you were able to get data on your phone, I would have been able to have moved in here weeks ago and, and I would have been able to do my job. But out here you get absolutely a diddly squat. So that's obviously what, um, what's been delaying us in actually getting Wi-Fi. And then obviously the electric, we had no electric for weeks, weeks. I think it was a couple of weeks ago we finally got electric in. So <laughs> it's all good now and we're now into my living room. I'm so, so sorry about this dodgy lighting, by the way. Well, I actually do like a full on reveal. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Ta-da! I kind of feel like I need to say this with every room. This room is not finished yet. It hasn't even been tidied or nothing. So please bear with me. But this room is completely finished in terms of decor or like painting, sorry, should I say. The decor is not even near started. This is our brand new sofa, which we just got in last Saturday. And this is our fireplace. Again, I must actually try and remember. I'll put in like a wee before and after picture here. Maybe a wee video and stuff. You can definitely see the difference with the fireplace like honestly guys how good does it not look I just kind of feel like because the wall is so dark that it just makes the fireplace stand out so much more and it just lightens up the room and oh, I just oh I love it and I really hope that the wall is actually coming off true to color on camera than it is in person cushions here these two these two and these three these are the cushions that actually came with the sofa and I think I might actually just like take the covers off them and give them to my mom or whoever wants them this is my flower pot <laughs> this is actually to go out in the hall like this is to go here by the way oh and the table the table i was telling you that i got from facebook marketplace is to go here and then i'm obviously going to have like maybe another wee plant obviously a couple plants maybe like a wee light over there and just like wee pictures and stuff ornaments etc 
This wee flower pot here, this is actually so heavy, oh my god. So this wee flower pot, I actually got this off John Lewis and then I think the plum is from Asda. My mum actually got me it, so let me see. We can't even see. Yeah, see for our living room guys, in terms of like the decor and stuff, do you know what it is? It's so difficult, like in my head, I know what I want and I have like, I have a vision, but putting it into words and like trying to find the right things is, oh my god, it's so, so hard. And who knew that things were so expensive? Like see this sofa, this sofa was so expensive but i'm so happy that we ended up just getting it anyway because do you know what see this sofa this will literally do us for the next maybe 10 15 20 years and that's why we wanted it gray as well because gray will go with anything and it'll do us and because it's a good sofa you get what you pay for it will last us but see in terms of like coffee tables and everything and rugs but basically within here like the decor i'm wanting to go for is very like earthy tones, rustic, like see greens and stuff, like greens and like mustards and like these like earthy tones and stuff. I just, I love it. But also keeping it with like a modern twist as well. But I also love antique. I love antique brass and gold and antique things. Like I seen like a really awesome antique clock and it was hundreds and it was like, Will I, won't I? <laughs> but, oh, I like, I love it. And like, see, to go to charity shops, like I've been doing quite a bit of shopping on Etsy and charity shop hooking and stuff. They're so, so good for like really nice wee finds and everything. But it's just, it's so difficult. Like this, I think that this is now the hardest part is whenever it comes to actually decorating, honestly, because it's so, it is wild, wild difficult and it's wild, wild expensive and you don't want to just buy something just for the sake of buying it and you don't want to buy something just for the sake of filling a room, you know what I mean? Please excuse my trainers by the way, these are my painting trainers. My feet don't even touch the ground. <laughs> Okay, so basically in here is me and Kai's bedroom and then we have an ensuite, we have a bathroom in there and I do apologise, <laughs> I do apologise that I'm actually not going to take you into our bedroom. I don't know, I just, um, it's somewhat finished, kind of, but not really, but nearly getting there, but not really. Um, I don't know, I just don't really want to show it, it's just a wee bit personal to me and Kai and it's obviously private and stuff and that's where the magic happens. And I don't really want to show you that. <laughs> but anyway, so basically the door behind us is actually our main bathroom. And this is the absolute state of our main bathroom. Anywho, we're actually renovating the entire bathroom, but we're not actually doing it yet. We have started, as you can see, we have started, but we're just, we're just kind of forgetting about it. We just close this door and just forget that this room even exists because we obviously have like two other bathrooms, which thank goodness. Obviously we have a bath in here. You're maybe wondering where the shower is and the shower is in our ensuite, which is just in there. But I'm just wanting to quick, talk to you about Sahan. I'll do a long story short so we're not standing here for ages but basically if you have me on Instagram he's only what I'm talking about and it was ages ago I put a picture up of the living room. I'll put the picture up here. <laughs> so that was our living room like a month and a half ago. Basically whenever we first moved in here right we had problems with the toilet that we have obviously took out here is where the toilet obviously used to be. We had problems from the very beginning. It wouldn't flush, it wouldn't do anything. So we thought, you know what, fuck it. We'll just take it out. Um, whenever I say we, it wasn't me and Kyle. But basically the toilet was taken out and this wee nipple thing, I wonder, 
like this wee nipple thing um basically started leaking not leaking but kind of like pulsing water it wasn't like streaming but it was like pulsing water we obviously didn't know the next day we arrived back here to the house and i came in here for some reason i don't know what it was and i had noticed that there was a wild lot of water around the floor wow abnormal right and it was like shitsky Shitsky. <laughs> so basically this bathroom and the ensuite bathroom is right above the the corner of the living room which I showed you is and the the dining room if that makes sense you know um so I was kind of thinking oh my goodness this has been leaking for how many hours there is no doubt that this has leaked to the roof or the ceiling down the stairs and that's what happened so I basically so I basically ran down the stairs to our living room and I shit you not guys I should have taken a video or pictures or something I shit you not guys seeing that corner our roof was literally like this it was bowed it was bowed so basically long story short that bit of the ceiling had to come down had to get fixed the whole entire living room had to get plastered thankfully my dad is actually a plasterer and he just called around and done it one friday night with his workmate and we got all that sorted so thank god for dad right <laughs> But yeah, so I think I mean, that's like the worst thing that's happened so far, but you know what, it's no big deal. I kind of see it as a wee bit of like a blessing in disguise for XYZ reasons that I'm not going to get into, but yeah, that is kind of like the situation with this bathroom here. On to the next room is a spare room, which is also a bit of a shit heap. <laughs> I think whenever somebody moves into a house, they always have a room like this, right? This is literally our closet situation at the minute. We are just in dire need of trying to sort this out at the minute. It's an absolute nightmare, but this is just what we're dealing with. It's obviously my clothes. This is kind of my side and this is supposed to be Kyle's side, but he hasn't got himself a reel yet. And of course, now for the main room. Ah! So guys, this is my... My pretty shitty filming room, if I must say so myself. <laughs> I have such a love-hate relationship with this filming room or this makeup room at the minute because it's obviously everything I've ever wanted, you know, right? But at the same time, it's like the decor in this room is just, it needs decorated. My makeup storage is just so outdated and ugh, but do you know what? We're just gonna have to deal with what we have at the minute and this is it. So obviously as I had mentioned there that I tried to have like my filming room like sitting ready for me to literally just come into this house and start filming straight away. So then I could obviously get my upload schedule like back on track for you guys you know so this is obviously what we had to have so far like it's grand like there's nothing wrong with it but this makeup storage is just I don't know it's just so outdated at the minute for me I just I hate it the walls are fine but I still want to get them painted the carpet I'm just I'm lifting it the skirting boards obviously in here still need to be um paint it and this is the floor that i'm thinking of going with this stuff here is like i think it's lino vinyl or something i don't even know but you know what guys it's honestly cheap as chips really really cheap really really affordable i don't want to actually spend an absolute fortune getting brand new carpet in here or brand new wood floor or something in here for me to obviously eventually destroy it <laughs> <laughs> you know like I'm gonna be in here like literally every single day doing whatever and just yeah like I just I'm happy enough with that stuff it's grand you know I don't want to spend an absolute fortune getting something that's just gonna maybe get ruined with makeup or something spilt on it or I don't know this is obviously where I have all my makeup and then in here and then obviously some clothing items as well along here is like makeup or sorry eyeshadow palettes that I've actually no room for it's kind of just overspill here's my wigs which I have no room for. I don't know what to do with them. This is obviously just my crap side, which again, I don't know what to do with most of these things here. And then this is just like a nice wee cute wee corner over here. Initially I was actually thinking of this being like my filming background, but I'm actually not too sure where, what or how I'm gonna film in here. I might actually maybe have like over there my background because I obviously use natural lighting in my tutorial. So I obviously need this window to hit me somewhere. Um, but yeah, I don't know. 
that is it. Will we go downstairs and actually do our, uh, our haul and see what bits and bobs I got from Home Bargains? Not that some of you probably care, but I care. I care. I love it. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love watching people doing like Home Bargains hauls now. Um, B&M hauls and stuff like on TikTok. I absolutely love it. <laughs> I live for it. I actually forgot that I have a few bits and pieces here from TK Maxx as well and you know what I may as well show you exactly everything right. So the first thing I got from TK Maxx was this wee tray. These are going out around everywhere at the minute and I am obsessed. I love them. Like this is the aesthetic that I love. I just I love it. I love it. Like earthy, love it. <laughs> but this was honestly so affordable. It was only $4.99 from TK Maxx. It's handmade in Vietnam. And I just thought it was like a really, really nice wee tray to actually put in our ensuite up in our bedroom because our ensuite, like the decor in it, is this and like the walls are like a really, really nice cream. Yeah, that's obviously like the ongoing colour scheme and decor that we're going with and I just kind of thought that this would be really, really nice to kind of put like our hand soaps on it or like our hand creams and soaps or I don't know, like a wee candle or a wee, like a wee flower or plant or something on it. Next thing I got was this candle, which again, and love it. It's the Live in Sky candle and if I'm being honest I'm not a fan of the scent. Like it's all right, it's all right, but it's not the nicest. I think maybe once it's burnt it will smell nicer. But you know what? I literally just bought it just for like the pot because obviously once this has actually been burned, you can actually reuse this as a flower pot. And that was actually like my initial thought, but then I had actually read at the bottom or somewhere, oh no, it says, it says it here, um, that that's actually what you are kind of supposed to do. And I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> Got a couple of photo frames. <laughs> Because in my head, I kind of have a vision with how I want our console table, like the wee table that's out in the hall. I obviously want like a load of like pictures of me and Kyle and stuff. And I don't want all the picture frames to match. I want them all different because I don't like anything that's like matchy patchy, you know. <laughs> I kind of like, like to bring my own twist to things. So I get this really nice black frame here and it just has like the gold detailing and outlining and this was only $6.99. And then I got another frame which was, god this was cheaper, how is that possible? This one was actually $5.99 but again it's just like a clear glass with just a gold outlining and I actually think this would look really really nice whenever there's like a picture actually in it. Now on to Home Bargains. Of course, again, I had to get some more of these wee baskets. I've been looking for these everywhere and I did find some in TK Maxx, but they didn't have any that was like the right size. And then Amazon, Amazon was so expensive. It was like, fuck off, I'm not paying that. Um, and then Home Bargains had them yesterday. So I got this size. So I think this would be really, really nice for one of the bathrooms. So I love these wee baskets for like your toilet raise, toilet roll products or whatever. I don't know, I just think they're really aesthetically pleasing. Again, I love the vibes. I got another one and this is the rectangle one. So this is just like the small one and I love the fact that this one comes with the handles as well. They did have a couple of sizes in these by the way, ones with handles and without handles and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. Ideally, I wanted a really, really big one of these to actually sit in the middle of our table, um, like our dining table with like our placemats in it, coasters, like our salt and peppers and stuff and just like, um, like a couple of like tall, candles and stuff i don't know that was just like my idea of one of these but i actually think i'm going to put this in the living room oh and by the way i got all this stuff from the home bargains in microfilt by the way just in case you're from my area some razors and then i got some shave gel this was actually only 99p and then i got this i was really intrigued by this it's this like um you know these types of sponges you know a sponge <laughs> but it's soap filled like there's actual soap in it so it just kind of means like say whenever I have fake tan on and I'm wanting to remove my fake tan I can literally just grab this saturate it with water and just kind of go to town and it will obviously start to lather itself because it has soap inside it fucking genius it literally is just like one of those sponges but 
there's like soap in it, if that makes sense. I just, I don't know. I'm just really curious to actually use it and see how well it works or what, I don't know. And then obviously if you don't wear tan, you can obviously just like lather it around your body or whatever. Jobs are good. <laughs> I got two of these pasta and sauce things. I eat these all the time. <laughs> You know, the bachelor's pasta and sauce. My favorite would definitely be the <laughs> cheese and broccoli <laughs> and the cheese lick and ham. What has my, what has my YouTube life came to? <laughs> I got some of these rice cakes, um, salt and vinegar and caramel. These ones here. And then I got this wee storage pot, this wee bamboo storage pot, which I thought was actually really, really cute. Me and Kyle have a sink cabinet, like an under sink cabinet thing. That's obviously where we have like our wee toiletries and stuff and our en suite. And I was kind of thinking of this being nice to hold or toothbrush. I obviously have an electric toothbrush, so it might, it'll obviously fit in there with obviously like a couple more toothbrushes, but yeah, I kind of thought that that would look cute. And then cleaning products. I got this as a Flora multi-purpose disinfectant cleaner. The scent is raspberry and juniper berry. Nice. And then I got the Lenore crease releaser. I actually bought this because I'd actually seen somebody else here on YouTube talking about this. Um, so I just got this to kind of see what it would be like maybe on like or duvet covers you know like first thing in the morning whenever you wake up and you make the bed there's obviously like creases and wrinkles and stuff if i'm being honest i couldn't give a toss about that but i don't know i think i might you know go to town with this and see if it kind of just releases the creases um and obviously it'll make the bed smell nice as well and you know <laughs> so it does smell of summer breeze will i kind of open it here and see what it smells like Oh yeah, that smells really, really nice actually. And even with clothes as well, like not just bed clothes, but your office, your your actual clothes. <laughs> it just says here that you spray, pull and smooth over, and then you just hang and it apparently just releases the creases. <laughs> the last two products are my favorite. These are actual must-haves if you have a house. May it what even see hold on you see if blue <laughs> want to send me a package of this stuff here i would be more than thankful it's the blue power active gel and it's for your toilet but basically it's bright pink it's literally bright pink but i'm not joking guys see whenever i uh put this in the toilet you can literally smell, you will walk past the bathroom and you will smell this. It smells unreal. Like Kyle will literally be in the bathroom or he'll walk past the bathroom or he'll do whatever and he's like, this bathroom smells unreal. And I'm like, I know, I know, this bitch. <laughs> It is, oh, it's unreal. It's anti-lime scale, dirt removal, extra freshness, cleaning foam, but it does say here that it does have the air freshener effect. This stuff smells amazing. Thank me later. Lastly is these wee Lenore Inwash Scent Boosters. These see ones here. These are so, so nice. These are the spring edition, daffodil and vanilla flower. Mate. I already have these and I actually love the scent that much of how our washing and our laundry smells that I bought the fabric softener and I actually bought like the wee tabs of this and obviously these. I obviously have these already like in our cupboards there but I seen these yesterday and I thought I would actually pick up another thing of them. But I love it. I absolutely love this scent. Oh, so good. So, so good. I never thought I'd say this but I love doing a washing. I absolutely love it because I'll just hang up on my clothes horse and just the smell just radiates through the kitchen and like the downstairs because of this. It just makes everything smell so, so good. That is literally everything I got in my way home bargains haul, guys. I think I might actually do this again because I actually really enjoyed this. See you the next time I'm going to B&M, The Range, Dunelm, 
home bargains, wherever it may be, I'm bringing these with me and we're going to do a haul and a wee follow me around or whatever because I really actually enjoyed this. But yeah guys, that was that was everything. Thank you so, so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too long and boring. I hope I do see you in my next tutorial which will obviously be next week and yeah, thank you so, so much for watching again and I'll see you in my next one.